Hi. Now, if you haven't seen this question before, I'll just give you a moment to read through it. So, uh, if you'd like to pause the video, when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. So, the first thing I'd want to do is to define a random variable. So, I'm going to say that random variable is x. Let x be the random variable as usual, RV for short, and it's going to be the number of defective bolts. So just put that in, number of defective bolts. And we've got to see what distribution this would follow. Well, you're either going to get a defective bolt or not. We've got a finite number of trials, 200, and we've assuming that there's going to be a constant probability of getting a defective bolt and that events are independent of one another, then we've got a binomial distribution. So I'm going to say where x is distributed binomially and the number of trials n is going to be 200 and the probability of success. Well, since we're doing a test here, let's just write it down as p. And so We've got the null hypothesis. Okay, let's just put that in. What's the null hypothesis going to be? Well, we're going to assume that P is 0.03 for the 3% that are defective. So we're going to say P equals 0.03. And now, if 3% were defective, 3% of 200 gives us six. Six bolts we would expect to be defective, and now we're seeing that 12 bolts are defective. So no wonder in the question it's saying that is, has the proportion of defective bolts, is it now higher, okay, now that this new machine has been installed. So therefore the alternative hypothesis is going to be P is greater than 0.03. As I say, because we're expecting 6 and we've now got an observed value, let's put it as x, being 12. And we're testing at the 5% level of significance. So I'm going to say alpha is 5%. Now, because we've got a large value of n, n is 200, and our value of p is small, it is certainly less than 0.2, then I can use a Poisson approximation. It says here, using a suitable approximation. Well, that approximation then is going to be the Poisson distribution. I'm just going to write a note here and say that since n is greater than 50, it's a large value, 200 in this case, and p is less than 0.2, in other words, it's now 0.03, then we can say that the random variable x is distributed as a Poisson distribution with a mean of lambda. Okay, and I'll put approximately there because it doesn't follow it exactly. And we need to define what lambda is. Lambda is the mean, and lambda would be equal to NP from the binomial distribution. And that's going to be 200 then times 0 0.03. 200 times 0 0.03 is 6. So if we just kind of put a border here and down here just to section that off, then where do I go from here? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down here. What I normally do, if you've been watching previous videos on hypothesis testing, I always write down how I'm going to reject the null hypothesis, the condition that I would reject it. And I'm going to reject the null hypothesis then for this question if the probability of x being greater than or equal to 12, given that x, the random variable x, distributed as a Poisson distribution with a mean of 6 
okay so x is approximately distributed like that okay so I'm going to reject the null hypothesis if this probability is less than or equal to the significance level 5%. So as a decimal then that's 0.05. Now this is one way that we can test this by looking at the probability of it being greater than our observed value. The other method is to look at finding out what we call the critical value. And in an accompanying video with this, I'll do it by that method. So all I'm going to do now is just work out what this probability comes to. And then I can compare it to the significance level. So the probability that x is greater than or equal to 12 given that x is distributed as a Poisson distribution, mean of 6, approximately. Now to work this out, I'm going to need to use the commutative Poisson probability distribution tables. And uh, they give me the probability then of being less than or equal to a given number. So I'm going to say that this is equal to 1 minus then the probability of x being less than or equal to 11. Given then that x is distributed as a Poisson with a mean of 6. And that is approximately. Okay, so I just put a prox there. Hope you can see that a bit small, I'm sure. Okay, so there we go. Now, we need our tables then for this, so let's just uh, bring up the tables. And we're looking for a mean of 6 and looking for probability being less than or equal to 11. So you can see that it's 0 0.9799. So what we've got here then is this is equal to 1 minus 0 0.9799 and that gives us 0 0.0201. And when I compare this to the 5%, 0 0.05, I can see that this value is less than 0 0.05. So what does that mean? Well, it means that we reject the null hypothesis. In other words, there is evidence to suggest that the proportion of defective bolts has increased. Okay, so as I say, that's one way that you can do this question. The other way is to look at critical values. And I'll do that in the accompanying video.